players that need to leave, players that need to stay, outstanding players, underperforming players, the height of the, the height, the highs and low of the season, that type of thing. So I'm gonna get into that right now. I want to finish this video under 40 minutes. So I have like 20 minutes. Um so yes, I spoke about the, the, the season in the Premier League already overview, but I may touch on it a, a bit briefly. So yes, the season is officially for Manchester United come to an end. And um a lot of things have happened this season, bro. A lot of things have happened this season in relation to Manchester United. From the negative end, I just mentioned a couple mini a couple videos ago that everything hog broke a lot of negative records for Manchester United, bro. Like we have lost a lot of games. This is like one of our worst seasons since 1920. And I basically said that that's like that's that's decades ago, man. That's like almost as that's actually a century ago. 1920. We're in 2024. So that's a century and four years, man. 104 years, man. And we have conceded probably the most goals in a season. We have lost more games at home than any season of ours. And we have lost a lot of games in our competition, man, than any other season. These are the records that this bridging go, 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 uh, 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 go break. And you think that his job is secure. Hmm? But what are the players that made our season the way it was? I last see uh last uh last sum summer I said that I was I was very questioning this 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 the transfer of Miss Mo. What like I'm saying to myself, dude, why you go sign why is, why 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 are why are we being the saving grace to Mason Mo's career? Why are we saving this guy's career, man? Chelsea was just waiting on the tip of them toes. And who is going to offer money for this guy? They don't want Mason Mount. They don't care if Mason Mount score a Champions League goal in the final and win him the Champions League. They want to get rid of him because of his poor form. Hmm? And we're going to sign this guy. And not only do we sign this guy, we're going to give him number seven. Our most prestigious number of our football history at this club. Why? I'm going to sign this dude for what? Uh, 60 mil? 60 million pounds, man. And where is he going to play? What kind of mid what kind of midfield system are you going to try this play in our side? Because Bruno Fernandes is not going to get dropped. He's the, captain, he's the club captain now. So what is the midfield going to look like? You go put Mason Mount and Bruno Fernandes in the midfield? So he's going to be the destroyer. The dirty worker behind it. Hmm? Casemiro? So these are the, 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 the questions I had, man. And even if you go sign a, dis, a destroyer, you have two midfielders that are basically attacking midfielders. You can't have two attack. Dude, only Pep can, can pull off that pull that off. Right? Okay? In the in the height of Pep's. Uh, man, uh, 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 man, I can't give it up. In the height of Pep's success at Man City, he deployed Fernandinho as the number six. Had David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne. That is an attacking midfield. And he could have pulled it off. You see me? He could have pulled it off because the, 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 the tactics is, he told the players, that's the reason why they could have pulled it off. Or, yeah, David Silva or De, uh, 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 Bernardo Silva or De Bruyne. And Fernandinho. You had a lot of players. Yeah, so we're not going to do that at Manchester United. Because we're going to get Cook in our midfield. And that was our MO this season. I spoke about the game against Wolves at home in our first game of the Premier League season. Yeah, we had Wolves, Wolves, uh, Wolves guys, man. Cutting through our midfield, man. Running through our midfield. And after a couple of games where we noticed that the midfield is weak, we said to ourselves, why we go sign Mason Mount for? Especially for that big money. 
Because if you go sign a player with that big money, he should be a starter. But there's no way he's going to start over Bruno Fernandes. So, you know, he's not going to drop Bruno Fernandes. Because as much as Bruno Fernandes can be trash in games, he's still a working force of this side. We have seen when he's absent, we can't create. We don't have creative midfielders. So as yeah, yeah, you can say as much as we want to say Bruno Fernandes is not as creative, he's not talented, he's not technically gifted. Some of some of those opinions are true. But the fact that they, at the end of the day, he creates a lot of chances. This guy created 114 chances creation in the Premier League. He has he has had the highest. I'm not a biggest I'm not a big Bruno Fernandes fan, but this is Fox. He's created the most chances in the Premier League for the last four seasons over De Bruyne. You see me? So in respect, he does deserve res some respect. But I'm saying this guy cannot be dropped. So what's up with Mason Mount? Why you go play him on the left wing? You go play my striker? So these are the things I question, man. It just didn't, the signing just didn't make no sense to me. So then, then we go get loan, uh, then we go get, um, who's Amrabat on loan, which I thought at the time was going to, you know, you know, give us some structure in our midfield, you know, you know, that's what I thought, but this bridging playing left back though, inverted left back. He's not no left back, he's a midfielder. Why are you playing him at left back and he's a midfielder? And the games that he's played as midfielder, he's not been quick. And he has not been looking, he, has, he hasn't looked convincing on the eye. Like we should actually sign this guy full head on. Sergio Reglion, let us not forget that guy. He wasn't this, he wasn't, um, I wouldn't say, I, I'm not saying he was no prime Roberto Carlos, but he, he, shown, he showed us something at playing fullback. That we haven't seen. The, uh, okay, let me be honest. We have seen it from Luke Shaw a few times where he's gone forward. But one thing that we have criticized Luke Shaw is that when he go forward, he's not dropping back. So when he's going on, he's going to attack. He's not dropping back. And if he's dropping back, he's doing ha he's doing it half cup. He's doing it. He's he's not he's not going after the defender. We saw that against Spurs. Was it this season or last season? Yeah, this season. Yeah, this season away from Spurs. That will go lose. Yes, I remember. Didn't Mark don't, didn't close on the guy. The guy go put in the ball into the box and some other guy, I think it's Sar or some other midfielder, go score. So yes, defensively, Luke Shaw has been suspect. And even when we're supposed to attack, he's not even attacking. It's like he's attacking on his own time. Like he's the one manager. He's like the player manager or something. Like he like like he's the only player in the side that is not giving instructions. You see, so but what Reglion gave to our side was fluidity. In come back, in attack. In come back, in come back. That type of thing. And again, bro, I'm not saying that he was the he, you know, he he played outstanding every game, but you could see you could see the intent of what a fullback is. A natural Fit, yes, I must say fit because Luke Shaw is not fit, and this guy going to the Euros and with England. But with, with Reglion, you see that he's attacking and defending, man. You see that passion, man. Now we'll go send this dude to go uh, uh go back to Spurs after his six month loan spell. We should have kept him for the full season, man, because we didn't have no full box for the rest of the season, man. We had to use Dalo. Which I guess you could say was a blessing in disguise because that was been a revelation at left back. And he's no left back. He's a right back. But he's playing left back because our left backs are out with injury. So that was one of the, the things that caught my eye. Um, another thing. This is a season preview, not just in the Premier League. Champions League. Dude, let me say something about that Champions League. That was a poor... I was talking about records. This is one of our poorest Champions League seasons. We finished fourth. 
we conceded the most goals, I believe, in the, in the, in the group. We had one win at home, which was uh, against uh, Copenhagen at home, I believe. Now, some players go say, yeah, we had a bad season, but you have to remember, Hoyland, although he never scored no goals in the Premier League, he scored five goals in the Champions League. So, you know, that's, uh, that's something you take. Dude, man, I'm talking about the overall season, man. The team, not just one individual player. We played trash in that tournament, in the group stage. It's not like we, we, we qualified for the round of 16 and we get knocked out. We couldn't even qualify. Dude, look at the group that we were given. We were supposed to qualify out of that group. And we're going to finish last place in the group. Under Copenhagen, under Galatasaray. Now Galatasaray has Premier League rejects in that side, man. And we struggle to go beat them. At home and away. We're losing, we, 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 we're, we're leading them away from home. I mean, I guess you could say because of the atmosphere, because, uh, you know, you, you, you guys know what got a fans, get the one already. We go lose the game, we capitulate. We capitulate. This bridging will concede two goals that could be saved, savable goals that were not saved. Zaych, a Chelsea reject, go score. A free kick that could have been saved. He could score another one. Or I think it was another. Yeah, it was another free kick, man. And we couldn't even beat them. Hmm? I watched that game on live television. And they're just going through. We have no midfield. So Bruno Fernandes up so. Mark Tommy, if he's playing, is up so. Where's the defensive midfielder? Where's where, what going here? So what's going on? What why why these why they not coming back? Our midfield was empty, man. And one of the thing I one the the, th the thing I criticized in that game, which proved to be a point in other games, was that we cannot see our games, and our game against Copenhagen away from home. Proves the thought. We we do we 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 lead in two nil, away from home, to Copenhagen. Second half, them go them go get one goal back. Couple minutes later, them go equalize from a set piece. Nine minutes of the game, some dude named Ronnie or Wayne or Rooney go score some winning goal against us, man. So it goes to show that we lacked maturity, seniority, and experience in the Premier in, in the Champions League. Casemiro, with all the experience that he has, can't save us, man. Vern can't save us, and, and as for now, says Vern because Vern got cooked in a game, and he just came back from injury. Persons were convinced that Vern is finished as a top player, like finito, like he's lost, he's lost his marbles now. It's, he's not the player that he once was. And he's never been, he's, he's been not the player that he once was. But that game convinced him, say, yo, this guy is done. Like, his injuries just kill him off. He's like, he's, he's done, man, at top tier level. But it wasn't that he was done on top tier level. The guy, everything I threw him in the lake of fire to probably be a scapegoat. I'm going to get to that in a second. I'm talking about scapegoats, best believe. I'm, I'm going to get to that in a second. But still, man, we can't, we can't, we lost, we cannot be losing games like that, man. We 2 nil up. And we go throw away our 2 nil lead to some side. That wouldn't even be 16th place. They probably would finish like 18th place in the Premier League. And go get Champions League qualification in some dirty league that we don't even, that, man, we don't even know what the name of the league is. We just know, say, the league is in, uh, is in Norway. No, not the Norway. Is in uh the con is in what is it? What is it? The country that um what name? Hoyland is from. It's some v uh, Viking club. I'm going to draw points against them away from home, at and at home. I think oh, no, actually I think we won against them. But see man, it was a disappointing tournament, man. No, I was just talking about scapegoats. 
34 minutes woman this might be a bit longer than 40 minutes scapegoats speaking of scapegoats the relationship between everything hug and Jaden sancho no our game like i said i'm going to be all over the place our game against arsenal away from home which we lost uh was it 3-1 or 2-1 i can't remember i think it was yes it was uh 3-1 because um yeah i think it's 2-1 i can't remember but we lost the game away from home sancho was there for the squad now sancho was showing in uh, uh, uh he, it's like he was becoming more of a, a an everything a player because him go score a goal against liverpool at wait Am I getting the seasons mixed up? No, that was last. The season before last in Eric Tenghag's first season. But the point is that, um, you know, Jaden Sancho, we thought Jaden Sancho was going to be a key player. And, he's be, and he was, in a few games before that spot, he, got, he came on and he showed some, um, some spark, some brilliance. But now we're hearing this bridging in some press, uh, uh, post-press conference talking about James Sancho didn't train as the way he should have, and that's why he's left out. Who asks about Jane and Sancho? Why is Jane and Sancho made a scapegoat? He's not the reason he lost that game. So why are you mentioning his name for? He's not the reason he lost that game. So why why why, why are you saying his name? Why, why, why are you saying Jane and Sancho? And Jane and Sancho, you know, some persons are uh, pro Jane and Sancho in this situation and pro everything hog. Because they're old school. They're saying, man, I don't care. You should respect. The old school heads, the traditional old schoolers are saying, my youth, respect your manager. Respect your, you know, your, 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 your superiors. So respect them. But the new age guys, and even some old heads are saying, you know what? As a player, I wouldn't more. There are nine times over that thing, I wouldn't side with a player, but... Why are you calling out this young guy for? He's not the reason he lost this game. Why you want to make him scapegoat for the reason he lost this game? He's not the reason he lost this game. And I'm saying, say, Sancho's response on Twitter, Tom Bo said, not everything you should read is true, kind of irked everything. Huh? It irked him. It irked him. It irked him. And he's coming to the point, say, yo, who is this young guy to respond? If I tell you, say, you're not playing, uh, you're not working hard in training, you're not working hard in training, ain't it? I'm not asking. But the fact is that, man, the context, you shouldn't have said that anyway, man. Some person saying that, you shouldn't have said that, man. That's way out of line. You didn't have to mention the player. He's not even in a squad. So you go mention his name for a post-press conference, man. And there's this the tension between these players it was it was never going to be resolved man it just and see this i must say i'm, I'm normal with place but hear me out because i understand that dartman uh is still the, sancho is not a dartman player permanent he's still our player but they have him on loan so we loan him Gene sancho but the fact is that if this manager stays here for next season Gene sancho is going to leave permanently I would be surprised if he takes another loan. I would be very surprised. He's young. He should be starting games permanently at a at a club permanently at a top tier club. So for for if in in case scenario if him go come back to Manchester United thirty minutes, if him go come back to Manchester United with a a a a, a Champions League trophy because he, they beat Real Madrid, this is a scenario. Listen me out. Hear me out. That might be a spot in everything I face. That's not going to look good. You go send this guy on loan. Well, the club was selling money, not you, because they want to go sell this guy. Because this guy is not on your program. So they want to sell this guy. Um, and him go come back and have Champions League medal around his neck. Him go in uh, Champions League. That's going to be an egg thrown in your face. Because you go look stupid. You go look stupid. So you're given a choice to either sell him in the summer or humble, you know, eat a humble pie and, and play this guy. 
But we have seen that you have, you have not been eating your humble pie. You don't like being humble, man. And it took you to the point where Anthony, I'm not going to leave with Anthony. Anthony is one of his poorest seasons ever. He took his poor, poor form to the point you say to yourself, you know what, you better go start on my deal on right hand side. Because as much as Anthony is my guy, you just, he, I, I have, to, have to go give him games. That's what it looks like, man. On to be finished under 50 minutes. But that's what it looks like, man. And the thing, don't even get me started on the thing with Mason Greenwood at this club. I'm going to go on a 10 minute rampage about that, man. But I must still mention it anyway because it's still part of the season. Why is it that you go give the club, you know, the the uh, the, the, the ladies, the football, the, the ladies side, the, the lady football side, man, I can't even talk. Manchester United's football, a female football team, the choice to choose, say, you know what? Do you, I know, you know, Mace, you know, it's been a couple of years since he's played for the club and uh, I'm pretty sure that he's cleaned up his act. You know, he's been a good gentleman. He's been a good guy. But I want to hear what you ladies saying though, you know. Because I know see y'all ladies, because of feminism, y'all have say so, is me. You have, you have power, you have say so, so give me a say so on the situation. Let me hear, let me hear, let me hear you out, sisters. Let me hear what you're saying. Them got, dude, man. Women are going to protect their reputation at all costs. I don't think most guys get that. They're going to... They're going to they, there is no way a woman is going to condone the behavior of a of a, of a, 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 a quote and rapist or an alleged rapist or an accuser of women, a physical a, a, a accuser of... Not accuser, abuser of women. They're not going to do that. That's going, that's, that's going to kill the reputation publicly. They're not going to condone. They're not going to say, oh yeah, keep Mason Greenwood. Hey, hey. As long as Mason Greenwood not come near us, they're not going to come. They're not, you know, they don't want him nowhere near the club. They, they, like there was this uh, one football, one female footballer for the club that said that, um, she said that as all of my years I've been supporting Manchester United, even to this day. But to this day, they're saying that if they go keep Mason Greenwood as a player, Oh, it was a supporter, not that said that, not a football, not a not a female football of the club. I'm getting my my, my, my fox crossed. But a sub a female supporter say I've been supporting Manchester United all this time. All this time I've been supporting Manchester United, and there has not been a situation until today that has questioned my loyalty to the club. To the point they're asking <laughs> if they should keep this guy at the club. Why are you asking us that? You should get him rid of get rid of him anyway. So my uh how I see it is that the club the hey, 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 let us although the although football is you generally a man's football game dude no company wants to lose them female supporters man I don't care what company it is cause as 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 much as most guys want to admit it Female of value. You look at calendars, you see women on the on the calendars, naked, or half naked, but they add value, so you buy the calendar. So the fact is, in any walk of life, any company, any club, no club wants to leave, leave, do hey, same thing with movies, man. Why well, I think movies are big on romance, although romance is, is just buffoonery. It's because that's what buys into men's fantasy. They love the, the romance stuff. So they go sell it in movies. They don't want to lose them female supporter. So the same thing with Manchester United. So when women say, yo, we, we don't want this girl back at Manchester United, them get shook. Them say, all right. I'm going to send him on loan. I, I, hey, I don't know if I want to sell him permanently. They want to say, but we'll send him on loan. You know, ease the tension, you know, just ease the pressure a bit. And that's what they did. They go send him to get off it. And Mace Greenwood had a hell of a season. Very good season. Better than all of our wingers. Better than all of our wingers. All of them. For him to go do that in that average side in Spain goes to show that this Bergeron has the capabilities of being our starting right winger. 
And even if you want to play him as striker, he's, he's more than capable enough to do that. You see me? So, yes. As I wrap up, the, the, what's the basic MO of this season? We got knocked out of the Champions League in the group stages, man. We can't allow that to happen, man. That's embarrassing. We're going to concede the most goals. I don't even think we had a clean sheet in the Champions League. We lost most of the... This is one of our tournaments where we lost the most games in our competition. In, in one season. I think we lost, what, 15 uh, games this season in our competition? That's a lot, man. And we have lost a lot of games at home. And we should have lost probably way more games at home. But because of the persistence of Manchester United, we go equalize, we, 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 the game is drawn, or we win the game. Like against uh, Aston Villa in December. Aston Villa took the lead. They pre 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 People thought that, you know, it's one of the other games. Didn't Bournemouth beat us 3-0 at home? No, Aston Villa beating us at home. What's going on here? And then, Ganacha go equalize. Then Hoyland get got his first Premier League goal at the season in the Premier League. Let me say in the Premier League got his first Premier League goal. Is me so. The take home points is that we have had a lot of injuries, forty five to be specific, I believe. And for Neil of the, we're at the forty fifth minute. Forty five injuries, if not fifty two injuries. I'm off. I'm uh, there about. But we had the most injuries this season. But that's no excuse though, because we had quality players available on the bench. This is me. So yes, we made a lot of you know changes in our defense. But at the same time, defense don't win, just don't win us games. They win us titles, but they don't score the goals. They don't, they shouldn't be scoring the majority. That's not their game. That's not their mo when playing football. So our attack was one of our downfalls. Our midfield was one of our downfalls, although Cobain was a bright in, shining light in our midfield. But he cannot be the only man in our midfield, man. So who are the players that were outstanding as I wrap up this video? Oh, man, I said I was going to finish in 50 minutes. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to finish in for under 40 minutes. No, it's over 40 minutes. I said I was going to finish in 45. No, it's going to be 50. Outstanding players, Diogo Dalo, hands, hands down. Big improvement on Diogo Dalo. Players that improved, as much as I hate to admit it, Armaguire has improved. To a degree, he has improved. Let us be real about that. I guess you could say the captain's armband, when it was lifted off of his shoulders, allowed him to play with more freedom, some liberty. Not much pressure on him. Because it's, it's a lot of pressure to be a uh, captain of Manchester United. To Manchester United captain. Not much persons can do that. Isn't me? So, he, he has improved. Who else improved? Um. Hmm. I don't see much improvements. Uh, Garnacho, um, I wouldn't say he improved. Yes, his game is improving, but he was one of our outstanding players. Let's 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 be real about that. And yes, that wonderful goal he scored against Everton away from home. That goal couldn't have not been hit any better. You see me, man. He couldn't even score a better with his hand, man. That was a very exceptional goal he scored and he had one of he had a, uh, a good season let's he in his right had a good season he scored crucial goals he got two goals against chelsea i believe he scored crucial goals this season gonna trust so as much criticism on give him he's been our crew one of our crucial he had a better season than rashford he had a better season than rashford and anthony and ahmad diallo yes although ahmad diallo didn't get much gains but he still had a better uh, season than him. Isn't me? Um, Hoyland had a goal to his game. He improved. He won. He's an improving player. Ever since the second half of the season, Hoyland's goal increasing. Like it is it the goals is goal tally ever since January to me was like zoop. Starts in. He starts. He starts scoring goals. It's like when once he got that. I mean, he scored five goals in Champions League, but he scored more goals more frequent ever since January. Because you have to remember, there was a period where he, was, he got seven goals in seven games early this year. Yes, Hoyland, Rasmus Hoyland. 
So let us not forget that. So yes, he has improved. He's one of our improved players. Who else improved? Uh, Kobe Minor, one of our key players this season. If Kobe Minor was not used in the squad in the, in the starting eleven much, God knows what our midfield would be like. God knows. Because if Mark Tomlin is starting our midfield, with Casemiro who is past it, and Bruno Fernandes, would have probably finished 10th or 11th, worse than Chelsea last season. And Chelsea will finish above us this season. <laughs> so yes, those are the players that were outstanding. Bruno Fernandes, yes, Bruno Fernandes was outstanding. Yes, he was outstanding, although he made a lot of mistakes, but he was still outstanding. Let's not, let's, let's not don't play on that. Let's not do that. There's a there's a there's a time and place to be objective or eat a humble pie and accept Foxy. Bruno Fernandes is one of our outstanding players. I would say Martinez, but Martinez missed a lot of games, dude. A lot of games. Yes me, but um were the players that were man I could have I I man. I could give you forty. Who were but who were the players that didn't perform? Marcus Rashford? Marcus Rashford was had a disastrous season, given the season he had pre before. This guy got scored thirty goals in our competition, and this season he had about eight to like twelve or so, eight, eight to ten in our competition. And even aside from the goals, when he's playing, he's not been looking convincing, man. Like he wants to be here, he's not playing good. So yes, him go score goals here and there, and that outrageous goal uh, for the crossbar against Man City, but away from home, but. He, didn't, he still didn't play well, man. For the majority of the season, he didn't play well. He was below average. So that's one, that's one player. Oh, no, no. Yo. I don't know if you're trying to try, you know, try beat Messi's record in 2012 of scoring all of them goals, man. You're not no goal scorer, man. Why are conceding all of these goals, man? And the type of goals you concede over 50 minutes. Man, I'm going to finish. I have to definitely finish on the one hour. The goals you can't see that in your post. In when dude man, when shots taken at you, you can't see in goals in the in the center of 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 of, of the goal. Why you can't see in goals like that, man? So you need to go work on your goal goalkeeping, man. You need to go work on that. Man, you kinda look kinda chunky for a goalkeeper. You need to work on you probably need to lose a couple pounds and be more flexible, man. Stretch them arms, man. Stretch out them legs and, and start making saves, man. Don't be stagnant in one spot. So that's two underperforming players. The third underperforming player. Casemiro. I love it, bro. I love it, bro. Boy, it's all love, bro. It's all love, bro. You had a way, you had an underperforming season, bro. You were under you 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 underperformed this season, bro. You got cooked. Too much times this season. You scored goals, yes, but you were. This wasn't your best best season. You're not performing this season in my book. Who else? Who else underperform? Anthony, oi! I see you hiding in the club. Come out of the closet, man. Stop your hiding. You, dude, you. It's not. I, would, I wouldn't even call it under. You under underperformed. That's what I would call it. You under underperform, man. You have one Premier League goal. I ain't scoring some goal against some flunky side as if you're scoring in the Champions League. What's up with that, man? Your self-awareness is non-existent. You got you got to score some goal against... Was it against Coventry in the FA Cup? No. I th yeah, I think so. And you're celebrating. And do you have this shameless aura about you like... Like what's up with that, man? <laughs> What's up with that, man? Seriously. Well underperforming. You have not justified the transfer fee that we signed you for. You have not. Real talk, man. So that's four players that underperformed. Rashford? Onana? Casimir and Anthony? Who else? Martial? I know the injuries got, got to you, bro, but... Even the games you played, you have not been sparkling, man. 
I don't know, say it's hard to get on you because you were not given enough games. Uh, and you were not even probably much fit, but still, man, the game, dude, even when you start, man, you don't look explosive. You don't look, um, you don't look, they just look washed up, man. Yeah. And it's unfortunate to leave him, but you have to leave, not only for your own good, but because, you know, you have just passed the time at Manchester United, man. That's, yeah, that's reality, man. So that's one that's uh that's one player. That's five players that underperformed. The sixth player that underperformed. Luke Shaw. Yes, you underperformed this season, bro. I don't eat hey, Don't be using no injuries as an excuse, bro. You underperformed this season, bro. It's me. Stop living at Burger King, bro. Stop dude, you're a fullback. No fullback should be looking like that. Oh, yeah, you know, come on for Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is big, but man, I don't want to be hearing that, man. Luke Shaw ain't the reason that he has a puff belly over his belt. What big bone have to do with that? That's fat. That's a fact. That's fat, man. Need to do some of that, man. You have not. You don't, you don't look fluid on the ball. Your recovery pace. You don't have much recovery pace to you, man. You need some of Kyle Walker's recovery pace. That is six players that underperformed. Seventh player that underperformed. Amrabat. This wasn't your best. Well, not that it was. It wasn't your best season, but you know, go have no other season at Manchester United because you haven't given us a reason to keep you. <laughs> so you need to go. You, 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 dude, you, you got caught out a, a lot of times, man. As I would call him, he's a Moroccan Amos. He looks like Amos, is me. But come on, man. You, you look chunky, but you, aside from that, you haven't played well this season. Persons, I was saying to myself, stop playing left back. He's not a, he's not a left back. Then when everything I go play him at center, center defense midfielder, not a full back, I'm seeing the reason why. Because he's not quick. He loses possession. He cannot play with his back to goal. It's like when Onano go giving the ball, it's like the, 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 for, the forward line, hold on. It's like the forward line saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Then press him out of position and him go score. Or if them go, they go press him, they go win the ball back. Well, 56 minutes, wow. Them not score, but dude, man, they losing possession. No midfield in that position should be losing possession. Fernandino of Man City, oh, man, I don't like to use Man City as reference, but I have to. Rodri wouldn't do that. Fernandinho wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. Because they are ball. They, they, they know their awareness. They, they are very self aware. They look around. They know what's up. I'm not, I'm not even no, no, no coach or defensive midfielder to know that. That's football, man. So the eighth player that underperformed. Amadiolo played well in the games that he played, so he he definitely didn't underperform. But yeah, so those are the players that underperformed. As I already mentioned, the players that performed, the players that should be let, that should that should stay. Well, that was not going nowhere. We know that. Let's go to the players that should should leave. Marcel is leaving. He doesn't need my say on that. Uh, 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 Ra Ra Rafael Vran is leaving. He doesn't need my say on that because he's leaving anyway. Casemiro, I believe, should leave. I don't believe Casemiro. I mean, we can keep him coming off of the bench, but I already mentioned, in, I already mentioned uh, reasons in another video why I don't see Casemiro's team, bro. Rafael Vran is his pal, man. He's not going to... He's, he, <laughs> what? Rafael Vran will leave him, so he should stay at Manchester United. These guys played together for years, man. And aside from that, the wages that he's that he's given at this club, and if he's supposed to be like a bit part player, he's not gonna accept a bit part player. This is Casemiro. This is not uh, uh, Jemba Jemba from two thousand three. So he's not gonna he's not he's not gonna be a periphery type of player. He wouldn't want that. He's still a, a bit. Uh, he's still young. He's like what 32, 33? He's Still young. But I believe he's going to leave. So, Rashford. Uh, Rashford. Oh, I'm going to get to Rashford. Best believe that. 
uh, Martial that sh should leave, he's leaving. Rafael Vran is leaving. Um, Casimir is leaving. Rashford, yo, much love for you, bro. But I have to be objective, bro. You have to leave Manchester United. I believe he should be sold. We have given Rashford enough love, huggies, whatever you want to call it, affection. We have even cut him some slack, man, when he shouldn't be, you know, be given cutting slack. Yes, we have defended him from racial comments. Yes, and we should defend any player to the death when it comes to racism. Because I hate racism. I'm a man of color, and I hate racism. See? So when I see another brother of a color of mine being racially abused, I'm hurt by that. But when it comes to football, when it comes to football, he needs to leave, man. Oh, it's one hour. I need to finish up right now. Rashford needs to leave. Rashford can be a big power player, but he needs to cut down them wages, though. If he's staying, he needs to cut down them wages. We cannot keep a player on the bench, come off of the bench, and he's getting all them wages, man. Take that number 10 off of his back. Take that number 10 off of his back. And give it back to to the to the to the uh, the, 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 the back room because we need a player that embodies the number ten. He's not a number ten type player, and he's had the number ten since twenty eighteen. So yes, Rashford needs to leave. He needs to be sold. Who needs? Who else needs to? Uh, I would say Anthony, but Anthony will go look stupid. I know, but. I believe he should. He still, he still needs to. Do we have to be cutthroat, you know? Look at Barcelona. Barcelona go sign Malcolm. Malcolm was a very good winger, like Anthony was at Ajax. But when Malcolm came to Barcelona, he started sinking out the place because he wasn't performing. And you know what Barca did? They've got to sell him the next season. They sold him. Yes, they sold him or sent him on loan and then they go, them go sell him officially the, uh, after, the, the, uh, uh, after the loan season. You understand? So, we have to cut our losses, man. Let us take the criticism. Oh, yes, he spent all of that money on a Brazilian winger saying that he was going to be the left-footed Neymar in the Premier League. Let us take all of the criticism. But get this bridging off our, off our books. He's not performing, man. He's not performing. Amrabat should, should leave. That's another player that needs to go. I believe he's going anyway. So he doesn't need my say on that. He's going anyway. Um, but Man, I was about to say Harry Maguire. But Harry Maguire has a bit won, a bit won me over. I, so I will not say him. But I think I hear some stuff. Anyway, this is the video of our season. I didn't go in any specific game. But I gave the specific gripes. Of the downfall to our season, the high is that well we didn't get relegated as a high, but by our standards we should not be finishing eighth place though. We should not be finishing eighth place. That's poor, man. No, we don't even know. Well, I guess we, we qualify for Europa Conference League, man. But this is we should not be we should not be no we should not be in this competition, man. No. The high, the other highs that won FA Cup. That's the high that we got beat a Pep Guardiola side that was strong. That was our one of our big upidies points of this season. You see? So that's all I needed. That's all I wanted to say, man. I have nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. Leave your comments below in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, our brother is out. Um yeah, this is going to be my last Manchester United video for a while. And if I'm going to be doing videos, which I will be, they will be based on the Euros. Because I support France, Le Bleu. I'm a Le Bleu supporter. So I'll be supporting France. So I'll be doing videos on France. Or games that uh, France will be playing. And I'll, be pl and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll probably do videos on the, 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 the shining light, the, the stars in the tournament that Manchester United should probably sign for next season.
that's all I wanted to say. I could I can go on and on for hours, man. But leave your comments open in the comment section. I can subscribe to the channel, hit the bell as well so that you can be notified on each upload. I would have been said, the brother is out. Peace.